Well, hello everybody out there in fan land. I'm Marty O'Donnell. I'm the audio director and composer for Bungie Studios. And joining me today in these developer commentaries on this, uh, uh, this evening is Joe Staten, the director of cinematics, and Jason Jones, the fearless leader of Bungie Studios. Welcome, guys. Let Thanks, the fans Marty. know what your voices sound like. Hi, Marty. <laughs> <laughs> Jason has a deep, rich, manly voice. Yes. Wow, Go, you know what? There it is, opening scene. What do you think? Well, Pillar since it's been a while that, since we've since I've seen this, the really funny part about all this stuff with the Pillar of Autumn it's isn't funny. all of these shots. Is that Paul Russell built it in like four minutes? <laughs> <laughs> Other than that, is that the Pillar of Autumn never moves. Right. Uh, in this cinematic and other cinematics, it's just a piece of BSP geometry that the camera always moves around. So to simulate movement. Oh my god, it's Captain Keys. Look at Captain Keys. You gotta do some crazy Keys. stuff. He's got at least 12 polygons. Now, just go ahead. From a, from a behind the scenes point of view, the really interesting thing about Halo 1 cinematics is that probably at least 60% of all the movement of the characters is either done through AI behaviors or through playbacks. And playbacks are just someone possessing the character and running him around the space and recording what he does, the player input, and then playing that back again. So, keys moving around, um, that's just a playback animation with a bunch of custom animations fired off in, in script. Right, like this, the pipe, which you had a lot of trouble with the pipe, and I remember you having a lot of trouble with handshaking and other things like that. What was Keyes doing just there? <laughs> he was packing his tobacco. What do you think he was doing? <laughs> his eyes closed suggestively. You know what I love about these guys, though, the crewmen, is that... They all have Matt Seger's face. They all are Matt Seger. <laughs> Matt Seger, who was the sound programmer on Halo 1 and my, my good, good, good friend. Now here's gonna, is a scene, one of many scenes that we'll get to, where Jason uh, and I wrestled about exactly how much stuff we could put, because you can see a couple little frame rate pitches in here when I'm spawning warthogs and putting in pelicans, and Jason was a stern master, a stern master with the number of things I could throw in the scene. But then I always threw in a couple more. I don't remember any of that. <laughs> I don't remember ever being a stern master. <laughs> you know what I just realized about this? Does this warthog still crash when it goes yes, off frame? It does. Okay, listen to it. It's going <laughs> to crash as it goes off scene. You are the lady. <laughs> Wait. No, I think it's the one that comes after this one. Yeah. Warthog. And again, all these guys are just running. Uh, they're either running AI or, or playbacks to make these animations happen. Hey, Jason, explain to me why human beings would make a, a Jeep that big. I mean, look how big that is compared to Sergeant Johnson. Because it looks awesome. <laughs> <laughs> he looks like a four-year-old when he's trying to drive. And I think as Sergeant Johnson goes through these lines here, written by the uh, uh, unforgettable Matt Sell, I think uh, this was the moment where, wait, wait for the crash. Damn right I am. Here it goes. Double time. It's going to go behind. Oh, looks like somebody fixed that bug, Marty O'Donnell. <laughs> you know what? We did do that. But it's I think like this was the moment it. we all realized that Sergeant Johnson. Here it is. Was going Here it is. To gonna, this one's going to crash. Listen for it. No, they fixed it. They fixed it. <laughs> fixed it. I shouldn't have fixed it. In the game, you hear it crash. Sure. Right. Here's what I'm thinking about this whole director's commentary thing. Yeah. Whatever this is called, developer's commentary. Designer commentary. Designer developer commentary. commentary. It reminds me of the famous Jamie Griezmer quote about 30 seconds of fun. Yeah. I think if anybody who sits through the two and a half hours, they'll probably have about 30 seconds of fun. <laughs> if we're lucky. <laughs> okay. Jason? I'll, I'll take it from here. Yeah. <laughs> You're out. I'll carry us through the next two hours. Look at that sink, Marty. That's good Foley sink. Remember how hard we had to work to make that happen? Only in normal is it in sync. I think it's out of sync in every other version. Wow, I guess we just skipped all the way to this cutscene. Oh, here we go. He's going to shake hands. Let's look. Goodness yeah. How hard did you work on that? Let me just say that those animations were not authored together. They were authored separately. So getting them to actually shake involved slightly nudging their spawning points closer and closer until it actually worked. And of course the lovely Jen Taylor as Cortana, who we just couldn't live without. Captain Key is played by Pete Stacker, who's also Sergeant Stacker. He's a dual role. Steve Downs. 
Oh, that Captain looked like it hurt. Steve Downs is Master Chief, but All right. crewman. I'm initiating cold you know who that crewman was, right? Did you see we just blow through like six Dutch angles there? That was awesome stuff. <laughs> While you do what? Go down with the ship? Ah, <laughs> uh, where'd the pipe come from? There you go. That's the question of the day. But if you look from this point on, I believe Keys' mouth is permanently sort of turned down in the in the lower right corner <laughs> from his pipe. <laughs> Uh, and who kept shooting Cortana from the back? That's just not right. That's, that's why we have so many bo little boy fans. Hey, do you remember the bug where, um, because she was transparent and that the, the display was transparent, and we went round, I think that was one of the last bugs we fixed on the cinematics, was getting her to sort properly. Oh, really? No, I, I don't remember anything about Halo 1. <laughs> did, I, did I work on this game? <laughs> uh, I think. Force deployment, weapons research. Earth. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, he delivered stuff. that so well, though. Come on. Captain Kizu also said the best line in Oni. Mm. Joe. Dead. <laughs> Keep moving. <laughs> well, the great thing about sort of Bungie games is that we have this really cool stable of actors, right, that yes. stick around from game to game. All two of them? Yes. All, two, all two of them. <laughs> you got to get rid of the guy that plays the grunt, though. He's a hack. <laughs> Well, I mean, in Halo, we really didn't have that many more characters than, you know, Keys, Cortana, and the Chief, and Spark. But the cast was so much, I mean, even Sergeant Johnson wasn't called Sergeant Johnson, he was just called Sniper Sergeant. But yeah, I mean, I think that that alone just made everything a little bit more simple. And you know what, honestly, we just weren't too worried in Halo 1 about tying up loose ends. Oh yeah, the, the chapter titles were pretty, some of them were pretty good. Mm-hmm. Shut up and get behind me. Sir. Sir. <laughs> I think we'll see that one in a little bit. Mm -hmm. Oh, gosh. We're all the, way, all the way through the Pillar of Autumn already. Mm -hmm. We're skipping all the good parts. Now would be a very good time to leave. Great animation by uh, Mr. Steve Abeda. Yeah. Or maybe Stephen Okasaki. I can't remember which. But this is one of the few scenes where we actually had a ton of, of custom animation because, you know, I couldn't walk the Master Chief around in a life pod or do AI. So, yeah, the Pillar of Autumn is not moving at all. Everything else is moving. Oh, and here's the famous, so I don't know how many people know this. Yeah. Oh wait, this is, the, this is my worst, my most, the bug that will always make my eyes bleed. If you look in the lower left hand corner, I yeah. think you can see the edge of the mat in this next <laughs> shot where Halo is coming up and you can see a little bit of, a little bit of, wait for it, okay, pillar bottom not moving. Yes. Gotcha. Well, it looks like it's moving. Clever yeah, camera work, Jay. Oh, wow. <laughs> and actually, Brian Morden, the guy who visited us uh, from the Make-A-Wish program, did that line, the autumn she's been hit. Yeah. We'll be up. There was the edge of the mat. <laughs> really? Yeah. I still missed it. Now, am I remembering correctly that this was your favorite cinematic from Halo 1? I think it was. it. That was brilliant. I'm crying right now. <laughs> Jason is crying. I can attest. By the way, who's the voice of the uh, dropship pilot at this moment? Is it Jay's wife? We're no. We're coming in too fast. Who is it? Damn, airbrake failure. They blew too early. I forget, who is that? That's Jen Taylor. Is that Jen Taylor? That's, we, we put a Cortana line and a Jen Taylor line right next to each other, and you didn't even know. Interesting. Brilliant. She's a brilliant actress. Mm -hmm. Now that little snippet there of the inside the live pod thing, again, that was a playback recording, which is me sort of standing in the live pod as it's actually going in, recording both the movement of the pod and, and the camera. And that gets used a bunch of different times in Halo 1 cinematics, because Halo 1 cinematics were filthy, cheat filled duct tape and bailing wire cinematics. Awesomeness. That's Bernie's bloom, right? Bernie, little raise a, raise a Buddha action. Raise a Buddha. Halo 1 was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> it is. Well, what happened? These long gameplay sections, you got to start the saying Master something. Some <laughs> Next time he shoots a grunt, I'll start talking. <laughs> <laughs> you know, clearly Marty was filming the gameplay sequences oh, because see, they, are, gonna come they are plotting, but very, very helpful. They're helpful. <laughs> I didn't want it to look like someone actually playing the game, but someone sort of filming the game. So I can't help but notice there are a lot of waypoints, Jones. What's up with all the waypoints in Halo 1? I had nothing to do with them. I deny everything. <laughs> no. Oh, cue. 
AI. That's Combat my favorite dialogue. piece of AI. Unbelievable. Now here's my favorite line in the game. I don't know if they show it. <laughs> yeah, don't we show it? Here it comes. <laughs> this cave is not oh. a natural formation. It's not? It's not a natural formation? <laughs> I don't believe yeah, it. Yeah, uh, no <laughs> duh. <laughs> Hey, Wait a minute, it looked like a natural cave to me. You remember how mad you were at me before the GameStock demo that we made where the Master Chief was flying around um, uh, Silent Cartographer? And we had the basics of the AI combat dialogue system in, and one of the few things the Marines did was raise their arm and say, woohoo, when they went over rocks. Uh huh. And I went back in the studio and re recorded them because they didn't sound like woohoo enough. And the Marines sounded really woohoo, and you started playing the game. Man, you were mad as a hoodie owl when you heard those new Marine dialogue. Wow, I Mark. seriously don't remember anything. <laughs> Did you hit Jason over the head, Marty? Yeah. He seems to have this has been in India. collective he's, memory he's loss. Just, he's just so mellow now. <laughs> so mellow. Well, Marty, so talk mellow. a little bit about that little moment that we just saw. Oh, that was one of those moments. Yeah. Famous light bridge. We just went the f There's our ride. It wasn't actually a cinematic, it was a, what did we call those? We didn't have a name for them. That's right, now they're going to be called... Uh, uh, vignettes or perspectives. 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 Yeah. But you and I talked about making sure we had little moments in the game where right. music would come in, camera control would be taken away for 10 seconds. Right. But those those really didn't come in until the very, the very end of yes. the end of the project. But they were really easy to do, and I think were some of the more um, um, interesting moments of, of the game. Nice, silent, musical moments. Yes. Descriptive. And gave you a sense of where you were. Mm -hmm. Good context with not a lot of overhead. Because the rest of the time, you're just inside your own head. That's right. And this, you could, you could see yourself in your environment. Right. Jones, you got to step it up. I'm dying over here. <laughs> I think so, this is my favorite level from Halo 1. Marvel Tone, two, scripted, Mike, Truth and Reconciliation. Uh -huh. It's the sniper rifle. Well, you love the sniper rifle. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> what? There's an original line. <laughs> Some good dialogue, Joe. But really. Well, you know, I mean, this is really, I mean, you think uh, John Howard wrote some of this stuff, and I think uh, Matt Sell wrote some of it, and you wrote some of it. I don't remember. <laughs> you wrote all the stuff that was cool, remember? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I do. Oh, he's going to shoot a grunt. <laughs> I'm going to have to start talking now. <laughs> oh, man, look at that. We skipped all the way up to here. Once we're inside mm -hmm. the ship, I can home in on the captain's command neural interface. All the dreamy gameplay skipped right over. Which was a very good fight. We were so proud of these little lens flares, these little volumetric flashlights. I think Bernie and I spent like six hours one night just running around watching the Marines. With their lights on? Yeah, from like <laughs> midnight to six in the morning. But there were girls around, right? No. Oh. <laughs> it's one of those things there are never girls around. <laughs> so how big a team worked on Halo 1? We're in. Who remembers? Well, I think it was about 40 people, right? Without... I mean, all the, early, all the burly men of Test and... Yeah, don't count Test. <laughs> Only because... Don't let Harold hear this. No. <laughs> I just, I'm just in terms of working on the game and not testing. Because right. we've oh. got all sorts of extra wow. people in the test. Too. Invisible Sword Elite! <laughs> oh, obviously... How many Sword Elites came out on Legendary Difficulty? Does everybody, anybody remember? No, I don't. Paul Bertone, who's not here to answer for his crimes. <laughs> Legendary, was that was the worst on Legendary. Oh, wait. That was this? Awesome. All right, what level did we cut that necessitated this cinematic? Oh, do you I remember? I don't remember. <laughs> Coming here was reckless. You but there's some choice dialogue that's about to happen. Where Captain Talk about Keith, exposition. Yeah, well, you know, he is Captain Exposition. That was our nickname. <laughs> yeah, no, tell me about the level we cut. I can't remember. I seriously don't remember. Cut. But I, I mean, it's all familiar, but. We cut oh, yeah. the level where we, oh, in a more elegant way, described this. Right. Here it comes. About oh, yeah. What do they call it? They call it Halo. <laughs> well, of course they do. Halo. <laughs> Chief takes it in stride. Come on. Yeah. Chief knows exposition when he hears it. Remember those guys down at E3 that thought Chief was a girl because there's always a girl's voice coming out of him? <laughs> well, in every in every movie or game, I mean, there's always that scene, right, where you know you've got a expose the critical details. Usually you try to dramatize it nicely, but there's some drama there. Keith has got some 
some pipe business. Hey, explain the cameras moving around. Explain the lighting in this level, because this is cinematic lighting par excellence. Well, I mean, really, I think all of this lighting, I really don't remember how much lighting, cinematic lighting we had turned on for Halo 1. Do you think? I think it's all uh, just the way it was. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think you, yeah, I don't think you had to, any choices. Yeah. <laughs> you just had to eat it. <laughs> this was like... Oh, I, I remember that now. It was fun. I have a new mission for you. The moment when all the Marines get covenant guns and you leave the ship that you just invaded with the captain in tow. I don't know. I was always really excited about there this. There it is. Emotionally. Uh, Shut up and get behind me. <laughs> Sir. Yeah. Now, given he's a neither, you want to describe that bug? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Come on, Jason. Whose idea was that? That was uh, Paul's idea. Oh, okay. But if I remember correctly, the bug was that Keys still had AI behavior, right? Which was taunt enemy corpse with his weapon. <laughs> and so Keys, with the neither, would of course unload into the dead, a lead or what have you. And then explode and kill himself. And explode and kill himself. <laughs> that was that was pretty classic when Keys ran up to a guy. Yeah. <laughs> Filled him with needles and then blew everybody up. Oh wait, up. explain this part. Oh, it's perfectly obvious what happens. What's you happening were... here? Weren't there hunters or something? Yeah. And, and, and where's the shot that shows us killing the hunters? I think this was one of those cinematics in Halo 1 where we kind of ran out of time. If you notice, there aren't Here's any the hunters. characters really, except for the okay. two hunters. Hang on. He's going to kill controls them. and boom. Oh. Keith is, Keith is a badass. So now, we're supposed to like... A I had to take the hunters out <laughs> because the collision with that cinematic model of the of the dropship yeah. that they they sort of interpenetrated and yes. it didn't look too uh, our first level uh, b30 that was our code name we spent so much time rebuilding and rebuilding and rebuilding b30 that what they call the silent cartographer some turned out pretty well the cartographer is a map room where <laughs> you were swaying that dropship because you're just trying to make it look cool. The island has multiple structures and installations. A uh, little Steve Abeda right there, animation. So Marcus looking good, the Marcus Marine. I totally guilted Steve into doing that. Because yeah. that, that guy was just standing in his seat facing forward. Yep. Go, go, go. This is one of my favorite uh, encounters though. And we have the full Halo music playing in this encounter for the first time. <laughs> oh, and then we're done. Wow. Now, the hollow panel to shut down the what, Jones, system. was the original objective for this mission? Do you remember? <laughs> <laughs> it's sort of becoming the theme of the evening, but uh, Good. I don't remember, Jones. The <laughs> it was the to kill the prophet who was trying to find this silent cartographer. Remember, you were supposed to, the oh, prophet was gonna correct. go, he was getting the map, and you were supposed to go and assassinate the prophet, which, like most good ideas that we don't execute on the first time around, we save for the next, the next game. <laughs> Are you saying awesome. that we haven't thought through every story point for every game all the way from beginning to end? I could be saying that, but really what I'm saying is we usually <laughs> fail to execute on brilliant oh, ideas wait. the first time around and then knock them out of the park the next Here's time. Here's one of my favorite. We did this because we did this in, Exo, in the XO2 demo. Yeah, here it is. Ah. Little little Just playback animation, you. little uh, little AI walk. And cue the custom animation. Why is there a stone here? He's got a big backpack. What? Why is there a stone there? Well, there's not a stone there anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I think the chief just uh, took care of that problem. Yes, that's a great perspective. I think the chief's motivation was to walk to the end of the diving board and kick off the one and only stone <laughs> in all of the Halo four One interiors <laughs> in Halo One. He didn't like it. There. That hollow panel should act Ah, some good Shikai hologram Ladies action. and gentlemen, Shikai Wang. Yep. <laughs> Beauteous. Analyzing. So talk about the mirrored floors. Halo's control center is located there. <laughs> I don't remember anything about the mirrored sort of floors. I think back then, uh, back then mirrors were all the rage. Mm -hmm. Did we have any mirrors in Halo 2? And I guess we're talking about Halo 1. There's one on the floor of the control room. But we'll get to that in about two hours. <laughs> <laughs> After the 30 seconds of fun are done. Ah, oh. Yeah, B30. I have a lot of fond memories of B30. It's like a childhood home. Mm -hmm. Backyard. Well, you could go two different ways around the island. Well, I mean, really? it was the Halo 1. It was the Halo 1 test bed, right? I mean, that's where, that's where everything started. Now, this cinematic... Again, we cut a level. And I don't remember what level we cut. That's horrible. The coordinates are underground. And I had to, well, we had to couple this 
No, no, because this is B30 and the next level is B40, right? That's true, but I don't but think there was anything me cut. We always had planned <laughs> that we were going to open up the magic hidey hole. I'm not saying it was a good plan. <laughs> Wait, here's, actually, here's Shikai covering our asses again with yeah. the absolutely fake manhole. Oh yeah, that, Did that's... the pelican actually the, fit in that manhole? Oh, the pelican, the pelican's like 14 miles long. <laughs> it can carry 70,000 people. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's oh, why we didn't actually show the Okay, pelican. wait a minute, wait a minute. Ladies and gentlemen, Joe Staten. Grunt comedy? Grunt comedy. Oh, I would have been your daddy, Marty. Oh, oh. I forgot about that. That was Pete Stacker's a line. A fine Pete Stacker line. Yeah, he improvised cool. that line. Here we go. Let's listen. Yeah. <laughs> Little sniffing. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Academy Award time right there. Grunt comedy always gets old. I forgot how we painted ourselves into a corner where we, yeah, needed to do a drop, a drop ship insertion from like inside a structure, and so we ended up flying down through the manhole on V30. Well, in Halo 1, we really didn't have a lot of, um, we didn't really have a lot of big sort of matte painting helped transitions from one space to another. I mean, we had like this tropical island and then we went to snow, right? And I think I remember one of your concerns was that it was just gonna be hard to pull off that transition um, from one from one place I, to the next. So remember. you decided it was easier just to put the pelican through a tube. I, I decided <laughs> it was easier to make you suffer? Is that, is that? This is it, Halo's control center. The control center. We, oh, just, yes. we just talked right over me singing. I'm was shocked. that you? Yeah. I'm sorry. That's all right. <laughs> There's Man, a, that a big is room. A big room. Look at that thing. I love it. Master Chief always looks like he's walking with a slight little gimp. What's what's up with that? <laughs> you know, and you can see in this scene because this is a lot of playback animation where it's just you know me running around recording his stuff. Mm -hmm. And I, I mean, you probably have the more technical explanation for this, but it was keeping track of my input, right? And so if I had bad, um, and I was doing this all on the on the on in the tool on the PC. So if I had bad lag on my mouse, it made the chief's movements jittery. Jittery, yeah. right? So you can see him. You can't imagine the wealth of information. Ah, oh, yes, giant Cortana. Giant wow. Cortana. There was an alternate very early in the version of the story where when he rediscovered Cortana, she'd like gone berserk with power and wanted to take over Halo in the universe. What happened to that story? It was too good. <laughs> we had to use this one instead. Are you say you came up with a story where a woman <laughs> became drunk with power and wanted to take over the universe? Let's not go there. I don't believe that for a second. Sensitive. Oh, we'll get to Miranda strapping a bomb to the Chiefs back when we get to Halo 2. <laughs> that, that would have been awesome. I, I was for it, Jason. If, if only the world of that uh, video game. Fans knew what they were missing. Mm -hmm. Knew what had been taken from them. <laughs> Who is the jerk? Oh, oh you that scary. Jeez. What are we? Her eyes. We can't let him get inside. Now why did, well, this was, this was cool. Mm -hmm. Get out of here, find keys, I stop And I love the cheese yeah. animation there. And he like starts <laughs> running away before he even knows what he's doing. <laughs> I'm going, I'm doing it. I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm going. <laughs> Uh, the glowy lady said to go. Now, this, I think, is the cinematic that almost killed me and you two guys, too. Because it is pretty much start to finish. Not this one, but the one, the one that comes after. Yes, um, very quickly. I hope. Right, except for some, some, some really cool custom animation about toward the end. All playback animation, AI stuff, back to back. Taking one character as the lead actor, running him through his moves. Oh, yeah. Then <laughs> selecting the next guy, running him through, recording his stuff, and just building up this this um, collection of different recordings for all these characters. But do you remember how careful we were to not let anybody know that? I mean, this was the big twist that yeah. the flood was being introduced, and right, this was the big moment that we had to like fake everybody out into thinking they were doing something else, but we were actually introducing the flood. Oh, I love this little. We're under. Attack! Oh, something. Yeah, this, this, uh, yeah, this mission was good. was good. This was the cutscene I was looking forward to the most. I think to seeing done in its final place in the whole game. Not, not this one. The one that we're about yeah. to see. Mm -hmm. And luckily, we had a little extra time after that cutscene, which somebody, Jamie Griezmer, wanted to take away and go right into action. Unlike <laughs> Jamie, you gotta have a little time to let the players adjust to, they're in the same place. Oh, crazy oh, Marine, crazy, crazy Marine. Marine. <laughs> Stay back. You're not 
And now the original plan the original plan for Crazy Marine was he was actually going to when you remember Marty we had yes. a fight not a fight about this we don't ever no, no. fight but never fight so Crazy Marine was supposed to stay alive and then when you walked however many world units away from him and we checked you know to see that you weren't looking he was we were just gonna have this big bang he right and you would come back and you'd be dead on the floor no I was fine with that the thing I didn't I didn't ever want you to see him kill himself mm. But I also didn't want all of his lines to be said all in a row. Exactly. They I were supposed to be said at different times, mm -hmm. but instead, Jamie said, ah, boring. Just have them all said at the same time. Right. Not that we're, yeah, we're kind of belaboring that here. <laughs> yes. Well, Marty is just focusing on Crazy Marine. For, well, I he's guess. He's got we'll, the bottomless <laughs> clip. <laughs> <laughs> but some of the light sticks, those are some of the few cool, like the. I remember the, who made the big pass on this level at the very end. Was that Jamie? They just went through oh, and splashed. Jeez, Marty. <laughs> Jamie Sorry. went in and just splashed a whole bunch that. of blood decals and a whole bunch of crazy, like made yeah, these little yeah, covenant yeah. barricades yeah, and cool. really cool. did some awesome stuff. Coming down the elevator and seeing the blood all over the walls. Right. Notice how the music takes you down this hallway. Of course, I'm going as slow as I possibly yeah, can. Yeah, notice how Marty's exactly running everywhere perfectly to <laughs> maximize the effect of the music. I'm looking in. What is that? You know what? Go down this. You see, I'm being. Yeah. Left? Wait, what's to the right? Mm. <gasps> A trigger volume? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the idea that knowing something horrible happened and going into the very room where it happened, yes. but, but not knowing that's where it happened until you listen to the yes. video. Mm -hmm. See, that's what's cool about this. Yeah. But somebody needs to explain to me yeah. why, why does the Master Chief put this little video playback chip in his head and it makes these fast forward noises like some old VCR tape? I'm not quite sure, but why does every time that someone talks on the radio in Halo, does it make the... They just haven't improved radio communications 500 years in the future. I think it's the same. They've already been improved, actually, in the present. Yeah, this was... Uh, That's because real weapons 500 years from the future are going to be totally boring. <laughs> As Rob McLeese likes to say, yes. a weapon 500 years in the future is going to be a glass of water. <laughs> and you drink it and all your enemies die. <laughs> and I think we probably got to that point like 300 years in the future and then we decided to go back to fun guns. Fun guns. Private Jenkins. <laughs> Remember I wanted you to license an actual song for yes. this? What were we gonna license? Magic Carpet, Peanut right? Black, yeah. yeah. Oh, that's right. Rock Rolling Stones. Instead, this is a O'Donnell Salvatore original rock and roll something. Uh. <laughs> oh, you know, Mendoza was cool. I liked him. With Lorraine? Lorraine McLeese? Oh, yeah, she was the dropship pilot. He was clear. Excellent. Lorraine. And again, this is the only time I shot out the back. Well, when I wasn't shooting out the back of the Pelican, it's because the Pelican, because it was all a playback, was just vibrating like a <laughs> in the trees. And they kept, like, cutting through the, the bay and stabbing people in the head. Oh, it was horrible. And then I think Chris Barrett pushed this, put that bush there right at the very end. Or not to blame Chris if he didn't do it, but like the magic bush that was never there before when I made all the playbacks. No, let's, let's blame Chris. That's more fun. <laughs> yes. <laughs> So what is this video effect? Jamie probably helped him. They did it together. Now, okay. pretty much every time I'm not pointing the camera at the action, it's to avoid an animation pop, spawning a character, <laughs> something that was bad. Play. And I think I must have tried to record this because I ran all the guys through and then tried to record a camera. And like once you do the, all this camera stuff is being recorded in real time. So he's just going through and trying to I make like it work. Elite is made of concrete when he kicks him. <laughs> Wait, was he? <laughs> yeah, doesn't move at all. he doesn't move at all. <laughs> See, look, I'm looking away because Keys is about to pop off screen. Boop! Oh, hey, Keys. <laughs> and this is all playback stuff. Like, this is me, mouse and keyboard in our controlling tool. Controlling every single controlling character. Controlling every single character, yeah. Those were the good old days. I don't remember them as 
good. Precisely. <laughs> they were old, though. They were old. They were old. Right. Well, let's get this door open. But, but See, just but a good really voice good acting covers everything. Like, watch. He's going to pop before he does his custom animation. So look away. Pop. <laughs> Here he goes. Look back. Hey. <laughs> and that's, that's what the chief saw. That's right. That's the same thing. <gasps> And now we're going into the room where the chief was last seen. Marty, I noticed there's no music here. What was that choice about? Oh, it's all ambience. If you guys read are listening closely, there's really cool, spooky ambience here. Mm -hmm. You don't want to hear it? It's just spooky. Yeah. This is actually uh, the name of the piece is now wait. Spooky One. Did you hear the gun noise? Every time you spawned a no, character no. in Halo 1, it made the reload sound. Oh, oh and Halo 2, Halo 2 and Halo 3, by the Jason. way. Jason. Jason. <laughs> Oh, wait. Private Carney. Chris Carney, ladies and gentlemen. Look how casual Keys looks. Now, the guy's obviously dying. Do you copy? Over. Mendoza. Do we know how much Scully was going to kick ass before we cast him? No. no. Well, yeah, actually. No. When he came in, he was great. David Scully, Sergeant Johnson. How many times does Sergeant stole the Johnson show? die in this game? <laughs> Oh, look, look at four keys doing his playback animation with his, with his neck. Ah, yes, so they come, busting out. First time ever, the party hats. They're not so much busting as getting stuck on the door. Wait, here comes one! <laughs> Those things are big. Yeah, they are big. It's like they're getting mobbed by turkeys. Hey! Boy, that was some bleepable Yeah, there's this absurd bug. I don't know if this is the one you put where we're in infection form would invariably just affix itself to Keyes' crotch and yes, <laughs> just start munching away. Because <laughs> this is all just AI, like spawn yeah, up in two forms and let, the, let it happen, right? Well, that's why I had to, I had to, I had to, I had to capture that movie a couple of times, I swear. Because uh, of, the, the, of the crotch yeah, dive, the diving crotch of the grab. infection form? Mm -hmm. Well, now the chief, he's worried. Now, now this is where right. it's all right here. What Jamie wanted to do here is immediately have, boom, the flood attack. And I said, please, just give me a little time mm -hmm. to say, all right, you this saved, is a creepy place. You saved Halo 1. I did. <laughs> right here. Right here. Jamie would have been out of control. <laughs> and then, here come the party hats. <laughs> wow, that looks oh, cool. Man, that is so cool. Ah, yeah. Marty, way to, way to build anticipation. <laughs> the only time we could get more than, like, four enemies on the screen at once in Halo 1 is if they were infection forms. <laughs> oh, wow, look at the field of view on that shotgun. Now, the, the name of that level was... Wait a minute. What now, was the name of that level? Because that was 343 Guilty Spark there. That was a chapter title. That was a chapter title. I think what was, was the name of the... What was the name of the level? I'm trying to listen to the light bulb. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Spark. He didn't have any. He didn't have any uh, custom animation or playbacks in that scene. But he could look to points. You saw right there where I could script him to look down, or look up, or look right or left. <laughs> For full hammer. It's just funny to watch him here, and he's still got that great little you know character piece of yes. his eye moves in time with his flickers in time with his with his speech. But if you look at the stuff in Halo Three now and the great work. It's getting done. I mean, he's just so much more animated and cool. But yeah. thank God we had the light flickering yeah. and <laughs> the cool voice acting of Tim Dadabo. Listen to the sound effects. Is this a, is this a level from Mario? You get to see what you're going at. <laughs> exactly right. Now the question is, who opens this door? <laughs> I, the cameraman. Who opened that door? You know who I think it was? Just the grave mind. <laughs> yes, I think you're right. <laughs> Oh, the humming monitor, Tim Dadabo. I hope you captured some stuff of you shooting the monitor. Oh, yes. I'm sure I do. I bet you I do right now. Come oh. on. Yes. Please control your tempo. Marty, you're See? not zooming when you're shooting the pistol. Much more well, because zooming a pistol never made any wow, sense to me. Look how fast that pistol was firing. What were you <laughs> thinking? <laughs> it's, uh, it's cool. I... I remember uh, liking this level a lot. I like the library. <laughs> I want to play it right now. Absolutely. Good work, Tyson. That was good stuff. Tyson has gotten a bad rap for this level. I love this level. I seriously do. Wow, look at the textures. They're like four by four. Pixels. Oh, geez, we're done already. Sorry, guys. We just zipped through it. Well, you know, you got to be efficient. Yes.
Oh, here's Spark doing a little some some playback stuff. That's a little bit more animated. Now you, again, I remember you did Jason, disliking pretty much every time that I put Rumble, Rumble in the controller in a cinematic. Yes. And I think I put some right there, a little a little Rumble. I probably just didn't notice it. Now, now how's the Chief standing where he's standing? <laughs> it's a mirror, it's a glass surface, right? I don't know, that's so interesting. What bug number was that? I forget. <laughs> <laughs> bug number won't fix. <laughs> <laughs> bug number, ship it. Look at that jerk. In incident one of the magic disappearing index in Halo 1. Because what is the index made out of? No it's one really made out of. <laughs> It's the same as the Cortana chip that just disappears into slots. The flood is spreading. We must hurry. I, for I mean, just looking back, I'd forgotten how much of the Halo 1 cinematics really was just, just camera movement. I mean, it just was things which stood still or moved in simple ways. <laughs> Neither of these characters even have lip sync. Right? <laughs> right, right. Yeah, that's true. Made it a little easier. Genius. I just nod my head. Yeah, so that it's a little bit laggy because of the, cause of the input. It's funny. I mean, all that looking, all the, See, all now, the walking you know around is playback. He's got a gimp right now. It's some kind of... Yeah, he's he's been through a lot. He's hurt. Code. <laughs> <laughs> also known as Whack. Look at Spark fly to his points. Man, that is an actor that can hit his marks. And cut on the poppy animation. Now, it was funny because I, I don't remember exactly why this was true. Probably because in Halo 1... So we have no idea how he took the index from Spark. We just, that's always off happens camera. Off camera. Happens off camera. Genius. <laughs> oh, Spark. Oh, really? I comes. love this scene. Boom! Now, when you don't have time to make an effect, you just make the screen go kind of green. <laughs> Toady? Well, do you Toady. remember why she says things like Toady? No. Because originally, you wanted Cortana to have a British accent, Jason. What? <laughs> yes, you did. I don't remember any of this. You guys could say anything. All those words. You know what? That's actually true, because when we cast Cortana, we asked every woman to do an English accent for us at the same Mid -Atlantic time. Mid-Atlantic, maybe, kind of. Don't try to blame this on me. We did. And then I'm we decided not to. <laughs> I absolutely am. Sod off, Toady. Sod what is off, Toady. And I think this was one of those cinematics where we'd already, gee, Marty, this was one of those cinematics where we already had a bunch of dialogue recorded. Yeah. And I made the point that maybe a sort of American-sounding AI shouldn't be saying things like that. And I think your response was, Jim, Won't beat fix. this. Go f*** yourself. We're not re-recording <laughs> that dialogue. Marty wouldn't say something I like would, that. That's I, my interpretation. I re-record everything you want, Joe. You said, I'm very busy. I think we should ship what we have. But thank you for your suggestion. <laughs> Whatever. We're all equally edible. Mm. The only way to stop the flood is to starve them to death. Now, does that make a lot of sense? Sure. Should someone explain that to me? I just, I've never quite gotten that. All sentient beings, so we starve them to death. What's I love exactly? How every Halo game, <laughs> we always have to have the scene yeah. where someone explains how the flood works and what the Halo rings do to them. <laughs> I mean, Jason, when this did was you written, come up this with that? This was written all by Jones. But, oh, that is so much. No, no, the, this, the, the, oh, the, the, the spark, the spark more technical. <laughs> the chief's just staring at him. <laughs> he's trying oh, well, to decide who to believe. That's what he's, he's making up his mind now. Behind the mask, he's going through a variety of emotions. Yes. Do I stay with my little f glowing friend or my AI girl? What do I do? What you've already done. Yeah, there are only so many different ways you can you can move a camera around a non-moving object. He's like, <laughs> okay, do I do this? Do I do this? Hmm. Oh, here they come. Wait a minute. He's got an AR in his hand. We must activate the ring. I hope. I hope. I hope the chief has a really punchy, awesome line to finish this scene. I guess we gave it to Spark, didn't we? Here it is. Yes. Wow, those sentinels just aren't moving, are they? They're threatening. That's not going to happen. Not gonna gonna happen. happen. Of course here it comes. Not. Here it comes. Dispose of the rest. Oh, take that. Dispose of the rest. I love that. Dispose. Look out. But I now he's got a plasma pistol. Somebody explain that to me. <laughs> I swear he had an AR. Explain to me how you missed that first sentinel. 
<laughs> that was Joe. I remember he he uh, he yeah. did nice decaling. Now this this was one. Oh no, what level did we cut here? <laughs> this is ridiculous. Yeah, we're like trying to. That's how do you nice. disable the power cores? How do we do that? There's got to be explosives. There's got to be an explosion. You like, just walk into what possibly happen. Wait, why don't we just walk into a big glowy light? No, if we walk into the lens flare. Here comes the best exposition of the game. <laughs> of course there is. Absolutely. That's how the monitor moves about. Okay, yeah. Listen to how fast Jen is talking. <laughs> yeah, because you wrote this like a, the last second before she showed up. What? Jen's saying, what the hell are you people making me read? Pull it from your suit? Only once. Well, why is that, Joe? So how are you going to like distract people from saying, why haven't you been using this method of transportation this whole time? Let me just say the time? worst cinematic in the game, which is what we just saw, <laughs> is actually bookended by the best cinematic in the game. With the fly-through here? No. Don't you remember? Oh, gosh. Well, no, I don't remember. It was the signature comedy moment of Halo 1 that, that I, I, think, I think eventually you came around to thinking was actually pretty good. But, I mean, you know my impulse is always to put in a little comedy. This, oh, this I remember you thinking yes. was a bit, a bit too much. I've got a good luck on Captain Key's So is this Captain? Yeah, is this Master Chief and Cortana flying through the level, or is this just, is this how they're getting around? What, what are we looking at here, Joe? Gratuitous okay. flashy lights. And then, yeah, here oh, we are. This is brilliant. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, see. Nice spark. Right. Oh. Sorry. She, he hit it's a Cortana. nice little moment. It's a great moment. It's a nice little moment. And that will distract us from thinking about why we're using this transportation grid for one time only. Yeah, I'm thinking in the cinematic that came before that one, the chief just should, should have started hitting his head a lot to distract people from that dialogue. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love the bl blob blurpy Good. drops that come down here. Analyzing damage. Yes. This yes, you've got to jump. Kind of but you could stay here for quite some time. Wait, Tyson, why don't you start an infinite flood respawner right behind yes. the scene? <laughs> you know, Tyson told me it wasn't infinite. Is that true? I don't think it was infinite so much as it became more and more demonic as time went yeah. by. Certainly not the 30 seconds of fun we all talk about. I think Tyson just started spawning flood that didn't have weapon like weapons like carrier forms. Oh my gosh, the most brilliant thing in Halo 1 was the fact that the carrier forms didn't explode from a grenade until they landed. <laughs> that's cool. So, oh, that's good. Yeah, I waited for her to give the line that jump in the fluid is looking better all the Becomes time. Comes one of the few map paintings in our game. Whoops. Wherever it is, I guess we missed it. Interactive music right there. Nice splash. Hey, look! You're underwater. I love it. No, you're under. You're under <laughs> fluid. <laughs> that was the that was the Halo One marathon moment right there. Yes. Well. Oh, back we go. This grab lift wasn't quite as much fun as the Truth and Reconciliation grab lift. Really now, I'd like to say that I was the guy who said we need to have Captain Keys say, "Chief, leave me," because I said we need to have a reason why. You're looking for Captain Keys, and you believe that he might be on there. Just want you guys to know that. I think, Marty, that was a really good suggestion. That was I'm the glad second you time you saved Halo 1. <laughs> Twice. This is where you really started to feel sorry for the Covenant. Yes. Mm -hmm. and, and a little bit for Keys, too. Why did you feel sorry for the Covenant here? Well, because they're... Uh... <laughs> did you play this level? <laughs> Now, I think it's true that in Halo 1, since all the camera points were placed by hand in the tool, yeah. that ev we didn't have an ability in Halo 1 to actually just make them start at a set speed and continue at that set speed and stop. They all had a curve, sort of an acceleration curve, where they would start slow and speed up and then slow down again. So if you look, all the camera moves have this weird sort of very even, I mean, not even, but they all sort of swoop in and swoop out. Right. Which I'm not saying is good, but it's just a little a little Let's detail you notice. Let's go back to Rob McLee's with that around. excellent flood keys brain goo particle yeah. effect when you shake that thing. If you listen closely right there, he's still going oh, 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 even though he's he smashed his head in, yeah. From his shattered head. Oh. Not a lot of cover in this room. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Some action, baby. I think it's safe to say that was the easiest cinematic to make. Yes. Halo 1. 
Now, Joe, what do you think about this next cinematic? Um, I don't know. I don't remember what it is. Oh. <laughs> You'll see. Uh, yeah, I like I like this one. I, I take it back. This is this is my favorite <laughs> cinematic from Halo One. And I gotta I've say, heard Marty, you say this before. I gotta say this because it was the cinematic where I came into your office and said, "Hey, Marty, uh, I don't know, man. I, I don't know really. I just there's I got this camera move. I, I, there's no dialogue. I think it's gonna look cool, but." I remember being dog tired, and you said, "I got it. I, I got to take." You got care. some music for this. That's all you need. Yeah. Just like the Halo announcement trailer in 1999. It's just yeah. music and action. That's all you need. Yeah. No dialogue. Until <laughs> like, you do great, the comedy great, moment at the end. Great looking, great Marathon looking logo. ship and environment. So simple, but yet, I mean, that what, what, that's what it was all about. Just the. But Joe has to get the comedy out of it. Nice. <laughs> what, what the Chief was of Cortana that? had such a good, good yes. little witty back and forth in Halo One. That was good. It's a great level. I love this level. Mm hmm Oh, see now, let's go and look to see. Oh, I dot my eyes, Marty. There's I dot the my eyes. See? Yeah. I just wanted everybody to know the Banshee was still ah. down there burning. Here we are. The return. The return to the beginning. Hey, Jason, how come we're reusing geometry again? This won't take long. There. Levels shorter. Ah, three levels. Now, I think this was Paul Russell. I don't know how the hell we figured out that countdown block, but I remember that was a huge pain. Oh, yeah. Is that burning? Like a shader. Yeah. I Wow. Ah, a little cutaway. He looks excited, doesn't he? Yeah. All of I'm, what does that mean? Human history, is it? Oh. Mm. <laughs> Fascinating. <laughs> That's a clue. Yeah, Guilty Spark's my favorite character. <laughs> These good times. And Guilty Spark is one of those characters completely easy to write for. Because <laughs> nobody's actually listening to him. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's safe to say there's a lot of you and a lot of me in Little Guilty Spark. <laughs> a bookish, kind of annoying little fellow <laughs> that nobody listens to. <laughs> Wait, here comes the grenade that's larger than the world. So what was up with that, Jones? He must be trying to take Making every single object Even laying on the ground in, in Halo 1. So people could see it. It was better than Have standing it up and spinning it around. <laughs> Wait, what games do that? This is great. I love it when Cortana says she doesn't know what to do. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, I'm coming with you. <laughs> That's so cute. Sentinels. Oh, poor Chief, I forget what bug this was. Whenever he got shot playing a custom animation, he went a little bit crazy. Oh, poor Chief, no, his arm's gonna go all wonky. Ugh. Ship it. I never noticed that. <laughs> uh, hey, at least he's got the AR now coming out of the cinematic. There were so many cool little screen effects that we that we lost in Halo 2 as well, like the ability to go in there and just sort of do the, you know, sort of radial blurs, and I mean, not, that's not exactly what we call it, but just all the, the colors that we could wipe across the screen. Now, here we go. More interactive music, guys. Watch this. Did you hear that? That little yeah. string did crescendo? Get, did you get faux hammers death in here too? I probably did. Mm -hmm. Come on, the, the trench run? This is this is one of the best endings in the history of games. I love this ending. You're so humble. Well, I didn't write it. <laughs> now, if I remember, Marty. I scored it. Then <laughs> <laughs> I just crashed like that. You know, I think oh, you might have used this God. piece of music oh, before, Marty. Move. You know, I didn't get faux hammers death. I'm sorry. That's all right. That's all right. No, actually, this piece of music you're hearing right now, mm -hmm. this is the only time it's used in the game. Oh, is it? Yeah. So there. It must be your, you know, your great <laughs> reuse of themes, Marty. I was recognizing the theme of the music is what reuse I was... Reuse of themes, yeah. It's just lazy. Uh, those flood could run a little bit faster, I think. <laughs> I'll almost catch you. Steve Abeta animation. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's great. Well, when your character has no face, all body. All body. Here we go. Here we go. 
Oh, you guys can sure talk. <laughs> yeah, Jason, you gotta hold up your end now. Okay, it's someone's not. got to. <laughs> and Lee Wilson, who's who's you know the full-time bungee storyboard guy, now was when he was you know a contractor living in New York doing storyboards. He had drawn these beautiful scenes of just this flood army spilling toward spilling toward a uh, high charity and i remember thinking i don't know charity of uh, the pillar of autumn pillar of autumn and i remember thinking damn how the hell are we ever going to pull that off but it's pretty funny i don't know six or seven little flood guys walking across the screen looks like an army yeah, shot at the right angle <laughs> <laughs> there is no sound in outer space wow this game was awesome shut them down we'll need them later <laughs> there is no sound in outer space it's true Ah, yes. I got a little bit too close to those particles, maybe. <laughs> but that's all right. Here we go. Private Dustin Echoes. <laughs> He's out there somewhere. He is. We, we almost, I don't even know how this happened. We didn't have any time to do this. I don't know how this, the ring ever even blew up. Marcus made it blow up one night, and uh, we all came in the next day, and yeah, it had been done. Did anyone else make it? Here it is. Scanning. Marcus made a lot of stuff happen that way in Halo 1. Yeah. Just dust and echoes. Dust and echoes. We'll go back for them. <laughs> I think dust and echoes was the guy that opened that door in the library. That's true. You know, I always did want Sergeant Johnson to, like, come out of some little cubby hole here. Well, we had a bunch of legendary ending jokes where Sergeant Johnson came out, like, brushing his teeth. <laughs> and he came out doing a bunch of funny things, which we, which we couldn't do. Now, the funniest thing about that was, I remember when fans finally were able to, to go in in Halo PC, I think, probably, and sort of detach the camera and see what was going on and try to see what was under the Chief's helmet. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, the Chief takes off his helmet. He's wearing another helmet. <laughs> <laughs> and I remember. And then here we are. Just give me, just give, just me, give some me some black. black. That's just give right, me some Joe. Black. How, Marty? How, how much black? About fifteen seconds. It's not fifteen. Twenty. <laughs> Come on, it's it's the ending of the entire game. Or is it the beginning? Oh, that's so. Da, da, da. Do we show credits now? Because that's going to be really boring. Oh my gosh. Uh, since we're not recording anymore, I think it's safe to say, like, this is, this is awesome. Like, Halo 1 had a beautiful simplicity that, uh, yeah, that you should, doesn't exist anymore. Yeah. This is awesome. <laughs> like, this is, this is inspiring to see. But it's, I mean, it's, yeah, it's funny. Halo 1 seemed unwieldy compared to Marathon. But like, yeah, now Halo 3 seems unwieldy compared to Halo 1. Like everything is just, it's just like the simplest, like brush strokes trying to, like a couple lines from Cortana that, I mean, the ship's being attacked. Like that's the whole message, message of like the beginning, mm -hmm. like coming up on Halo. But it's in the art too. It's in, I mean, it's in the, it's in the environments and the, and like the characters, just the way like everything pops, like the, mm. there's no like mess, like all the jackal shields and they're like, are just, they're really like crisp. Look at the size of that credit. Woo! Wow. You know, I think the only thing bigger than that credit is your ego. Oh, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> so, Marty, seriously, come clean. How much of music did Michael Salvatore write in Halo 1? <laughs> Good stuff. I think uh, this is the old Mullins matte painting, Chris Barrett, After Effects work. Scroll the credits. I really hope we get more Jason in Halo, the Halo 2, but he, he might just curl up into a little fetal position on that one. <laughs> so Jason, as we're watching the credits, fondest memory from Halo 1. <laughs> Bernie's girlfriend almost killing me with a dart gun at 3 in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember that. <laughs> That's the first thing I thought of. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, was your, what was your least, least fond memory of Halo 1? Barty's girlfriend almost <laughs> killing me with a dark gun at three in the morning. <laughs> Marcy, last crunch. Huh? Do you see that uh, one or Halo Two? I just said it right there in Halo One. Mm. Really? Yeah, that didn't work out too good. Does Marcy know that you lied? Oh, look at that, Susan Lusty, and then my wife was was pregnant with oh, our first child. That is so cool. And I'm glad Jason talked during the break. <laughs> Because that's going to be some good stuff to put over this credits. Because uh, <laughs> what we just said was <laughs> stupid. I was, <laughs> wow, I was really, uh, it's cool. I was really kind of floored by that. I haven't, uh, 
Yeah, I haven't watched that in a long time. More black. Well, there's always got to be more black. Got to be more black. Oh. oh. What? Is that a star? What is I that? think it's Darth Vader. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this has never been minute. used before. <laughs> not over. Ah, yes. It's not over.